At CRP Industrial, we want to supply you with the highest quality hose for your specific applications, but we also want to do everything in our power to keep you and your customers safe when using these products. That's why this episode of CRP Industrial's go-to video is dedicated to high pressure hose safety. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Travers, Senior Business Development Engineer here at CRP Industrial. I just want to take a few minutes today to review some of the recommended hose safety tips when working with our new ultra high pressure hoses. First off, a quick explanation of the industry standard color coding practice. Hoses are designed for various pressures and using the wrong hose for your particular pressure application could be very dangerous. To quickly and easily identify the correct hose pressure range, the WJTA has standardized a color coding system to identify the allowable working pressure of a hose without having to physically inspect it. For pressures between 10,000 PSI to just shy of 15, we use the color yellow. For those from 15 to 1 PSI under that 20 mark, we use green. From 20 to just under 30, it's blue. The 30s are gray, 40s orange, and anything over 55,000 PSI will get a red cover. By keeping these colors standard throughout the industry, you're able to quickly and easily do a visual check to make sure that you're using the right hose for the job at hand and are able to identify the working pressure of an active job without having to get too close. Speaking of visual inspections, for the rest of this video, we want to show you some examples of things you may find during your visual inspection, which is something you should perform before you begin work on any high pressure application. Knowing exactly what to look out for and why may help you avoid equipment damage or serious injury. The first step for any visual hose inspection is just to verify that the pressure meets the requirements of the application. You can do this by looking at the hose ley line or the data that's stamped onto the hose ferrule. This will include the maximum working pressure and the hose serial number, which can always be traced back to the hose test report. Then you'll want to take a look at the fittings to make sure that they aren't cracked, deformed, or corroded. Make sure that you also check the thread and seat connections. Then you want to carefully check the full length of the hose. Make sure there's no significant discoloration of the color and that there are no dents, twists, or kinks in the line. This hose shows a kink. Examine the cover to see if there's any cuts and make sure it's not pulled back or separated at all. For example, on this hose, the cover is being pulled away in this area and has been cut in this area. Here's an example of how the cover can also pull away from the fitting. Then check for any significant deterioration or blistering. Here's a good shot of what that could look like. And here's a hose that's showing some slight abrasion, but for UHP this would still be a cause for concern. You also want to make sure that none of the reinforcing wires are compromised or protruding like we can see here. Full instructions on the proper usage and inspection of ultra high pressure hoses can be found on the hose tag, which should be attached to the hose. If you notice the hose suffers any of these conditions, remove it from service immediately. It's a smart move to err on the side of caution, especially in high pressure applications. We hope that these easy to follow tips help keep you safe. Should you have an issue with a hose, need a replacement, or have any questions at all, never hesitate to give us a call. Make sure that you visit crpindustrial.com to view all of our products, and we'll see you next time on GoToVideo from CRP Industrial your go-to source for specialty hoses.